it's not a virgin anymore. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a new video and yes, my hair is not a virgin anymore. I've never used any hair coloring on my hair before and I wanted a change so I decided to lose its virginity. Yes, this is like, I don't think the permanent look because like I wanted it to be lighter, but it's in the midst of things that I want to know you guys' opinions on my hair and stuff like that. So as you guys see like in my Instagram, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you definitely should, addicted to face if you have not already, I have realized that my hair looks different. Um, and I went and I dyed my hair, I did it myself and I got this box of Revlon like frosted hair coloring from Target. I literally learned so much about doing different highlights in your hair like ombre, balage, and stuff like that. And I literally learned about that so much and I was like, you know what, I want to try it all myself. So after getting all the right things that I needed to do it, I was like, I'm going to do this. I've got this, but then I was like, you know what? The hair color that I got was permanent, which I end up thinking that this is permanent too, but I'm just a scary cat with things like this because I'm like, you don't know if you're gonna like it, right? I thought about it and I was like, you know what might be good is this frosted, is frosted by Revlon, frosted highlights or whatever. And I saw that, I thought about that. And I was like, you know what, that would be good. So I went to Target and I bought it and it's the darker shade, like, cause I have such dark hair. I didn't want my hair to turn red when I colored it because it's like blonde, you know? Like if you go from really dark to like lighter, it could, it could easily turn red and I didn't want that to happen. So I wanted to be extra careful. So I went and got this box of hair coloring. I wanted to record the whole process, but I wasn't able to because I ended up like getting scared. I was like, I need to focus. I can't do this because if not, then I could like easily like mess this up. So I'm going to go right ahead and insert the whole process of that right here. And then I'll talk you guys over about what I did after that. All right. So I already put in the powder. Hold on. I'm just going to. Hey, I look ugly. Pour that in slowly. Then I'll be the beautiful one. You're already the beautiful one. No, I'm not. Look at my outfit, guys. I have on a dress, and I don't want to have no pants on, so I put this top Look at my outfit, guys. I need a tie-dye on. Why is it chunky? I'm nervous. Should I not do it? out washed it with the shampoo that they gave us and then I went and I toned my hair um, whenever you're working with colors that like you want to get like the braskiness out of like your hair you go ahead and use a toner and I wanted to make sure that I got a good toner because even though that box kit they don't give you a toner in that I still wanted to get all the braskiness because I have red undertones in my hair and I did not want my hair to turn red because like that just wasn't the look I was going for so I got this blonde brilliant um, perfect blonde ammonia free toner in golden wheat and you're supposed to mix it with a developer so I just got a 40 developer those in my hair and what I did was I just put it in the ends of my hair because that was where the color was and then I just like I had it on my hand so then I just like pushed it through the rest of my hair um and like I didn't wear gloves with that part because since it's so fast that you're putting in the toner and stuff like that you don't really have to worry about that and anywhere that you put the toner that you don't have the color, it's not going to like pick it up or anything. So you like up here you put it, it's not going to do anything. It's like where you put color. And then after that, I literally saw so much red braskiness come out of my hair and go into the sink. I was like, this is crazy. Like if that, if I didn't use that, my hair could have been like really red or whatever. So um, that really helped. And I really was appreciative that I got that and stuff like that. So I want to mention that to you guys. Um, after I put that in my hair, you're supposed to wash your hair. So I bought this shimmer lights conditioner with blonde and silver for like blonde and silver hair and I bought this 
And even though it's like purple and it smells really awkward, I really felt like it did help the blonde be accentuated and really made it look great. So I just went ahead and washed my hair with this after I used the developer and the toner. It's already been like a week since I've done it. I want to know your guys' opinions because I want to go lighter and I don't know if I should go lighter up here because this is still my natural color up top, but not down here. So I'm thinking like, should I go lighter down here or should I like, I don't know, like go lighter just at the tips here or should I like make the color go up higher, this, this, this same color, make it go up higher and then make it go lighter. Um, I don't know, like go back and get the, because this is like the only, the sec, the first box the, for the darker hair. And now that I liked my hair to make it go blonder, to go get that box. I don't know. I really want to know your guys' opinions on what I shall do because, you know, this hair journey is a lot. And I feel like you guys are like my best friends and you've been watching me for a while and you know like how... I look and stuff like that, so I want I want to know what you guys think will look best on moi. And if you guys have any questions, I can help you out with your hair questions. As well. This is just the beginning on my hair journey. It's super long nowadays, so this is what it looks like. I've watched out for some new videos coming soon. Request them down below. Do you want to see summer vlogs? Just let me know your thoughts. Um, today I went to this lake. It's called like Lake Attitude. What was it? Altoona, Lake Altoona. I went there today and it was really interesting. So if you guys want to see summer vlogs and this different adventures that I'm going to be getting myself into, let me know in the down bar. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a big old thumbs for watching this video. I'll see you in my next. Peace out. It. It's so pretty. I cannot wait to wear this lipstick combination. It's just been like, like